15-year-old Fawaz Mustafa should be in the 10th grade, but he's been working to support his family since they fled from Aleppo to Jordan two and a half years ago. He was employed at a cafe before taking this job at a curtain shop in Al Mafraq. He works 12 hours a day, six days a week. His salary of $170 a month is desperately needed to pay his family's rent. I dream of going back to school, but our living conditions are difficult. So I come to work, support my family and learn a new skill. It's better than staying on the streets. Fawaz is one of tens of thousands of young Syrians in Jordan who are increasingly being forced to take on more responsibilities. Here in the northern province of Al Mafraq, working Syrian children are everywhere. I work to support my family. I would love to go back to school and see Syria return to the way it was. I would love to go back to Syria after Bashar al-Assad falls. The minimum working age here is 16, but many employers are hiring younger Syrian children. Child labor has become an essential coping mechanism for the survival of Syrian families because adults are generally not given work permits. Aid agencies try to get these children out of work and back into school by providing cash assistance to their 